Hello friends, welcome back. For example, this uh, categorized. Uh, let's 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 open the movie movie post type. For example, so go to the dashboard, which is a custom movie custom type. So KGF chapter one. Okay. So if you see here uh, in the request in the query monitor, you can see the request film slash KGF chapter one. Then this is the rule is have been matched, and this is the movie. a uh, kgf chapter 1 and then pages pagination okay and here you can see the movie uh, it's a query where and this query will created based on the post type slot and uh, this will uh, this query where will tell the uh, wordpress that you have to file, uh, you have to um, search this post slot into the movie post type okay so this will done into the um, what i can say in the parse request okay so let's see uh, in here so i will oh sorry my bad okay so uh i have read some thing okay so uh let me i'm just change on commenting here and also on commenting this okay so now we have printed wp Our class object, and here you can see the query string which is matched. Okay, and uh, this is the request. This is the match rule, and this is the match query. Movie equal to KGF chapter one and page. Okay, and these are the query values here. So here you can see that post type movie have been set, and this value will use by the WordPress to set to get the uh, post uh, which is post name is a KGF chapter one from the post type movie. and how this post type will set so uh, into the wp parse request um parse request method in the parse request method um you can we have query words and we will get uh, all the post types in its object and whatever the post type uh, uh, slug we are setting as a post type query words and this post type query words will use to identify if there is a, a query where name exists same as the post type slug then it will set the post type query where okay and and that used by the wp query here you can see post type query where and this is a wp where wp where means uh, it will loop through the all the all the public query words available and it will check whether it's uh, in the query words variable exist or not so here you can see the movie it's uh, exist movie query where and if it's movie query where exist and if it's exist in the post type query where based on this 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 post type query where array have the list of the post type slugs okay and it will check whether it's exist and it will set the post type and based on that query where it will check set a name okay so here the post type movie and the name and this two value will use by the wordpress uh, wp query so if i go here uh comment this out and uncomment this global wp query where and if you see here so this is the queries okay passed by the uh, wp uh, class and here in the queries you can see the movie then post type movie and the name kgf chapter 1 if i go to the uh, request okay so you can see a uh, post name kgf chapter 1 and post type have a movie okay so if uh, this post name will or uh, have and the post type movie should be matched if it's matched then it will set the post uh, property uh, which is like single post object and further things will be done if it's not exist then it will uh, create a problem so let's say if i have done something three so uh, now kgf chapter 3 movie is not exist so um, it will set 404 is 4041 because the post property don't have any content and uh, and uh, in the wp query uh, if you go to the uh, 404 uh, handle of 404 sorry so go to the me um, then handle of 404 and here it will check uh, uh, this post will not have any data so that means it's a, we have to set a 404 it will set 404 then it will set is 404 property of the wp query class and then give a status header and wordpress will 
render the 404 page template from the current activated thing okay and yeah so this way if the content if based on the current request if content not found um from from the database then it will be a 404 and if it's found then the content will be rendered to the uh to in the front end matlab means okay and this query verse and it's very important how this query verse uh like define okay so uh in the, uh after this video go through this the uh, parse request uh uh, parse request method okay to understand how it's parsing what other query verse have been used to identify the request and how it's setting and how those query verse pass to the wp query and the wp query uses those query verse to get the to fetch the data okay so yeah that's all about uh, like uh, the execution workflow okay so you know that if uh, how this rewrite rules uh, be, uh, have been matched how this query were set how wordpress identify what kind of data needs to be fetched from the database how it construct sql query based on the query where's passed uh, or or like parsed from the current request and and uh, passed by the wp class to wp query okay so similarly you can like uh like consider as a homework that now you can check about uh okay so you can have some like uh, uh what i can say kind of some practical thing so um here you can send a thing for a four template is displaying here so what you can do is uh i have so new the rewrite rule for the single post and the single movie post which is custom post type you can go through the author archive page so if you go here in the request you can see the articles author matched and this author name matched author name use author name used by the wp query to get all the data about this uh, chandra author and display in the here list of the post okay so based on that uh, it will be done similarly it will be done for the uh category categories categories sorry so in the categories uh, if you go to the categories archive page and the request you can see the c block like you remember in the first video we have renamed the category base to uh, c which is a shorthand and this uh, rule has been matched and this is the category name block and based on this category name uh, query where uh, query name wp query identify construct the wp query and it will get all the post from the database uh, where the uh, block category assigned to those post okay and so you can go through this uh, as i shown you how you can uh, print the wp class object wp query object and you see how the sql query constructed what uh, and be, what based on what query verse it have been ex uh, extracted okay so yeah so uh, this all about uh, execution and rewrite rules okay so in the next and the, probably the last video we will see how we can add custom rewrite rules okay or how we can change the author base or search base um, using the wp rewrite class and it's in in their properties okay so yeah um, uh, thanks for watching this video i hope you learn about this how this rewrite rules execution workflow uh, implemented and how it's executed basically and since you know about this so it's really helpful for the developers like in the debugging as well for example there are multiple rules and we have installed many third-party plugins and one of our current custom rewrite rules are not working probably may affect by the rewrite rules maybe we we have to move our custom rewrite rule at the top so that it will match first okay because the rewrite rules match from top to bottom okay and uh, you know how where the pass requests are done what are the action have been executed what is the sequence of the execution of the actions and filters and based on this knowledge you can easily debug the problems around with the rewrite api or the url structure or how we can um, carry over or added the old site url structure if you are moving from non-wordpress platform to wordpress platform okay so if you are moving the site we may need to carry over keep the existing url structure and how we can achieve that url structure uh, in the wordpress okay so these things will help you uh, to achieve those uh, tasks okay so yeah um, thanks for watching uh, see you on the next one enjoy wordpress